Winter. Dear kindergartners, hi from your pen pal Annie. In my last letter, I told you about the four seasons that occur in many parts of the United States: winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Today, I'm going to tell you about winter. What kinds of things do you think of when I say winter? Snowmen, icicles. I'll tell you what I think of: cold. Winter is the coldest season of the year in most of the United States. The shortest day of the year is on December twenty-first. It's called the shortest day of the year because it is the day with the least amount of daylight. It marks the beginning of winter. Winter also includes the months of January and February. It can get very cold in the winter in most of the United States. We can tell just how cold it is by using a tool called a thermometer. A thermometer measures temperature, which is a number we use to talk about how hot or cold it is. When it is hot outside, the liquid in the thermometer rises toward the top. When it is cold outside, the liquid in the thermometer stays down near the bottom. Another way that you can tell it is winter time is by the way people are dressed. What are the people in the picture wearing that helps them stay warm in the winter? Winter clothing is made to protect you from the cold and to keep your body nice and warm while you spend time outside. Hats, mittens, and scarves help you stay warm in the winter. It is usually cold during the winter where I live in Washington D.C. Sometimes it even gets cold enough to snow. I wish it would snow every day, but the temperature must fall below freezing, below thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. In order for it to snow, if the air between the clouds and the ground is below the freezing point, then instead of rain, snowflakes will probably fall. Remember, the freezing point is the temperature at which a liquid turns into a solid, or rain turns into snow and ice. Some years. Washington D.C. gets heavy snowstorms known as blizzards that bring city traffic to a halt or to a stop, and force the schools to close. Blizzards are snowstorms with lots of snow and lots of wind. They make it difficult for people to walk and drive. There are other years when it only snows once or twice. This means that some winters are colder and snowier than others in Washington D.C. What is it like during the winter where you live? Does it ever snow? When it snows, everyone works together to clear the snow. People use snow shovels to shovel snow off walkways so that others do not slip and get hurt. In many places where it snows, snow plows get to work clearing the streets. The big plow on the front of the truck scrapes the snow and ice from the streets. These trucks also carry salt or other chemicals, which they spread on the roads as they pass. The salt and chemicals melt the remaining ice. And keep new ice from forming, which makes the roads safer for people to drive their cars. People should always drive and walk slowly and cautiously or carefully in the snow. Snow and ice are slippery, and whether you are walking or driving, you should use extra caution when the ground is covered with snow or ice.
I always cheer up when it starts to snow because I love to play in the snow. I like to build snowmen and have snowball fights with my friends. Another way to have fun in the snow is to go sledding. After a big snow, all you need is a nice steep hill, warm clothes, and something to ride on to go sledding. After playing or working outside in the winter, it's always nice to come back inside to get warm again. Some homes have fireplaces where people light logs on fire to help warm the house. I love reading a good book by the warm fire. In places where it stays really cold in the winter, people also use gas furnaces and electric heaters to help keep the air inside their homes nice and warm. Of course, having a few extra blankets on the bed is always a good idea on those frigid or very cold winter nights. Winter is also a time when some people from different religions celebrate holidays. Christmas, a Christian holiday, comes on December 25th. Hanukkah, a Jewish holiday, also falls around this time, as does Kwanzaa, a week-long holiday celebrated by some African Americans. To celebrate these and other holidays in wintertime, sometimes people string colorful lights around their homes and neighborhoods. You should see Washington, D.C. during the holiday season. All of the lights make it a magical place. Another important winter holiday falls on December 31st, which is the last day of the year. This day is called New Year's Eve. January 1st, the day after December 31st, marks the beginning of a new year. January 1st is called New Year's Day. On New Year's Day, many people make resolutions or lists of things they would like to do better in the new year. Luck and good fortune are common themes for the Lunar New Year, also known as Chinese New Year, which is a holiday that falls around the end of January and beginning of February. The color red, thought to be a sign of good fortune and happiness, is the color chosen to wear during the festivities. Homes are decorated with red paper cut into designs, and happy wishes written on red paper are also hung throughout the house. Children often receive red envelopes with money tucked inside. The people who receive these envelopes are also supposed to receive good fortune in the new year. Feasting on fish, pork, poultry, tangerines, oranges, dumplings, and special cakes, families gather to wish each other good luck. There are so many fun things to do during the winter. What's your favorite part of winter? Your friend, Annie.